Welcome back, Hot Wheel Collectors and Diecast Enthusiasts, to another episode of Curb's Garage. Um, sorry about that last video, got a little sideways on me. And uh, But this one is a little haul video that I just came back from the swap meet. Um, I just want to do a shout out real quick. Um, Diecast Toys Plus. And uh, they have some really cool, it's uh, Tommy and his father. I'm not sure what his father's name is, but they have some really cool variation videos and then uh, you know like Tommy Tuesdays his son and it's from a young uh, boy's perspective on Hot Wheel collecting and the collecting father and son uh, hobby is just really neat so go give them a follow check them out um, diecast toys plus so here I am with my um, Sunday haul video and I found this little Volkswagen combo here and uh, this is um, from Maisto and it's, I wasn't gonna get it because it wasn't just 164 scale it's a little bit larger um, let's show you so it's just a little bit bigger um, but I collect all sizes of Volkswagen, so that'll be fine for my collection right there. And then here's the base of the bus. So pretty neat. Little, little guy. Um, okay, let's see what we got. Alright, up first, I got this uh, nice little three window 34 black wall. Um, I have quite a few variations. I'm not sure if I have this one with this paint job. I've seen photos of it. Um, nothing too special about it. I don't think it was rare or anything like that, but uh, there was a guy who had a bunch of loose cars and I kind of dug through and picked out stuff for 50 cents to a buck. And, I mean, really not too bad condition for being in that box of loose cars. I mean, there's some that stuff might be able to be cleaned off. I don't know. But, pretty cool. 1979, but I'm sure it was had to be 80s or something like that. And I got the 57 T-Bird. And this one was, this is pretty bad shape, but I haven't seen it. And I didn't have it, so I grabbed it. And maybe I'll find a uh, much better one somewhere down the line. Um, but I did find another one, this black one here, which... Looks like they had basically the same style of tampos, even though they're different colors. Both not in very good shape, but are both uh, variations of that that I do not have, so now I do. And we'll add those to the collection. So there's the base, 1977. But that doesn't always mean, especially if there's a stamp over it and it's not stamped directly on the base, you can tell that it wasn't actually that, it wasn't the year. So the year of the die cast, but not the year of the release. Which I wish I knew. She did some research and made this more informative. But it's more just a haul video. So just showing you what I got. And here's that 380 SL with a little. Uh, Dog in the back there. When it's kind of foggy, so you can't really see. Fido. This is part of the Glimmer series. Um, I, I want to say I have a brown one of this, but not a blue one. But that'll be interesting to see when I get these all put away. This yellow interior, the Ultra Hot Wheels. That blue metal flake shine. And that's, that says 1981, Malaysia. And I did find a beater red line, the bug eye. Which is always fun to find a red line in any shape, as far as I'm concerned. Just a car that's been around for 50 years. It's pretty neat to see. Looks like it's been around for 50 years. 
Anyhow, yeah, that's where the engine is. If you haven't seen this die cast before, pretty crusty piece. Uh, Hong Kong. And uh, there's that. So I did get a red eye. Red line. Red eye. Red line. And I got one of these, which you guys know everything about. As you've seen them, they've been around. But it was loose. And uh, pretty nice condition. So souped it up. So that was pretty cool. And then uh, got this guy here too. I was just watching uh, the Landley Group's video on the Jada, and I wasn't sure what that was, but he kind of explained. And uh, yeah, I'm more of an American muscle car. I'm not really into the whole Japanese cars, but um, they're still pretty cool. And this one has a nice gold paint job. And pretty cool. Looks like there's no back seat, just the front seat. It's a little racer round plastic base and then this is what's this little Datsun wagon I think that's part of that same Japanese um, cars that are very popular these days among some collectors and it's pretty nice kind of got a wild paint job little circle where a number would go probably so that's pretty cool and another station wagon here this is uh, the X-Men it's a, one of the premium ones with the real riders and the all steel so getting a uh, added red line got the black walls got some uh, Volkswagen uh, entertainment series so checking my boxes off pretty good this all there's a some stock couple stock cars Richard Petty I thought were pretty cool my collection is growing too my little Richard Petty collection these are racing champions and they were also loose in that uh, pile and show you the base of them it's just nothing really too fancy plastic um, wheels are definitely closer inside the axle base anyways it's shorter but maybe that's how they're supposed to be and those and I got another golf variation a Baja bug this time Just got it because it was a golf and it was loose and it was 50 cents so not that I really thought that it was a very cool die cast but other than the golf paint job and stuff it's actually super light um, here's a another matchbox Volkswagen transporter bus to add to my collection of buses speaking of which you can see the uh, uh, artwork there from my good buddy um, let's see here I'll bring him over there oh, look at this let's get that kind of there we go so yeah, look at my buddy off the die cast right there. So there's a live one. Close, close enough. And then here's a matchbox. Uh no panel wagon. Pretty clean. That'll be another nice addition. Pretty sweet, pretty simple, all blue, white plastic base. 
Uh, just really basic. And this one's kind of nice. This is a really heavy all metal with real rubber tires on it. Nice Johnny Lightning. Sixties VW bus. Pretty nice find. Uh, yeah, there's the whole metal base, rubber tires. And here I found this like custom little combi. The Toy Story kind of graphics on there. I'm not sure if those are decals or tampos or what they are. But he did a pretty cool little job. And see the gang up there on the roof. And let's see if I can. There they are. There's a nice little screwed back in base. Good job on that one. And speaking of customs, I got uh, these two guys here. This is uh, RG Customs, whoever that is. He did a snake and mongoose. It's pretty neat how he puts them on the cards. There's the rivet, very professional looking. There's that famous blue stripes that they had on this funny card. I just only wonder if this thing... Uh, it probably doesn't, but anyways, that's pretty cool. Here's the other one he did. There's the card work. Let's see. And it's a nice little addition to my snake and mongoose collection. And I had all these guys, this collection here that I'm going to open up the Fast and Furious collection for you. Um, let's see, let's start out with uh, my least favorite to favorite. There we go. There we go. Oops. There we go. This is the Nissan 370Z. I'm sure you guys have these or seen them. Fairly new. Right They're just going in my entertainment um, series. I don't even know whose car this is or what car this is. Even though I like the news, I don't know whose car it was. But plastic face. Here's a, the Mazda RX-7. I've actually driven one of those, one of the funnest cars I've driven. Mm. These were just mainline dollar ninety nine cars, but I thought they were pretty cool, especially this one here with the patina look to it. And the maybe even call it the work in progress type of the look to it. I think that's pretty cool. I've seen these on other people's videos. Um, this is actually the first one I ever got the whole set of chrome plastic base. Here's the Buick Grand National. That kind of a metal flake paint job, rendered out black wheels. The whole car basically is. And that's what they call, that's a little, most kind of popular here in California where they call that murdered out. The whole car is black, wheels, rims, everything. That was kind of a popular thing. I don't see too much of that anymore. Um, but that was just a few years ago. That's what they, the name was. The cool. There's that. A nice little tampo right there. 
And let's see who else. Oh yeah, and here we go. The last one in the set. This is actually number three. I should have put them in order. The Mitsubishi Lance Evolution. And that's it, fellas. So, and ladies, um, if you're watching, uh, for my haul this Sunday, and it's glad to be back. Thank you for your support and watching, and um, looking forward to seeing your haul videos. And uh, happy hunting, and see you next time.